China are both developing next-generation fifth-generation fighters as they struggle to challenge American dominance of the international system. However, the two great powers are taking somewhat differing approaches to developing these new next-generation machines. Those differences are driven by a number of factors including threat perceptions and requirements as well as access to technology and financial resources. In terms of overall kinematic performance, the Su-57 is likely a superior performer compared to the Chinese J-20. With its three-dimensional thrust vectoring capability and ample thrust, the Su-57 is likely to have excellent low-speed high angle of attack maneuverability even with the current Saturn L41F1 afterburning turbofans, which are rated at 32,500 pounds thrust each. The Russian jet should also have very good supersonic performance with some degree of supersonic cruise capability even with the current L41F1 engines. However, once the Su-57 received its second-stage Saturnized Dealey I-30 engines, which are expected to deliver roughly 28,000 pounds of dry thrust and 42,000 pounds of afterburning thrust, the pac should be able to achieve climatic performance including supersonic cruise and maneuverability rally on par with the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. Indeed, as one now retired military official with extensive fifth generation fighter experience had told me some time ago performance wise it certainly looks to compete with the Raptor. While the Su-57 has excellent aerodynamic design, the Russian jet is far less stealthy than the Chinese Chengdu J-20. Let alone American stealth aircraft such as the F-22 or the Lockheed Martin F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. While neither the J-20 nor the Su-57 is particularly stealthy compared to American fifth-generation fighters, the Chinese aircraft places more emphasis of radar cross-section reduction measures than the Russian jet. The Su-57 has numerous obvious radar cross-section hotspots including its rounded electro-optical sensor bow which shows no effort at faceting its movable leading edge root extensions. Where the leading edge flaps meet the outboard portion of the wing, its engine inlet design and a host of other problem areas. In short, the Russians consciously chose not to emphasize stealth in the Su-57 design. By comparison, the J-20 which seems to have been heavily based on F-22 and F-35 technology makes much more of an effort at especially frontal radar cross-section reduction. While some analysts make the spurious argument that Gennards are not compatible with stale, there are plenty of American stealth aircraft concepts and technology demonstrators that have used such aerodynamic features including Northrop Grumman's proposal for the Naval Advanced Tactical Fighter and Lockheed Martin own early joint advanced strike technology jest which eventually evolved into the F-35 development work. That being said, the J-20 does have some obvious radar cross-section hotspots, particularly toward the rear of the airframe. Nonetheless, the Chinese have incorporated advanced stealth features such as faceting for the J-20's electro-optical infrared targeting sensor E its housing liberally borrowing concepts from the F-35. Moreover, the J-20 also similarly works to conceal its electro-optical infrared distributed aperture sensors DOS missile warning system MWS in a similar manner to the F-22 and F-35 designs. The Chinese jet also incorporates F-35 style diverterless inlets, which somewhat compromise aerodynamic performance, but are more conducive to stealth and ease of manufacture and maintenance. Overall, the Chinese J-20's airframe shaping is far more conducive to stealth than the Su-57 air vehicle design.